Hello, my name is Mary Marr and I am a home economics teacher in a special needs school in County Kildare. Getting ready for cooking. Use a hair band to push back the hair from your face. Use a bungee to tie up your hair. Most important, not to let hair get into your food. Take an apron and put on an apron. Roll up long sleeves and wash hands. Follow this 10 step hand washing video that is shown earlier. So now we've got ready for cooking, we wash our hands and we're going to clean the table. Follow the step-by-step -step tutorial given in a previous video to complete this. Hello, today we're going to make Rocky Road biscuits and we're going to be using a small amount of ingredients for this. So we have some milk chocolate. These were chocolate buttons that were melted down and we have a little dark chocolate so we're going to mix the two chocolates together. We have some mini marshmallows. We have a packet of digestive biscuits and we have two crunchies. So for our equipment we have a chopping board and a sharp knife. We have our weighing scales. We have some plain fillum. We have a scissors, we have a small dessert spoon, we have a wooden spoon, we have a glass bowl to melt our chocolate, our baking tin, a bowl for the biscuits, two small bowls, one for crunchies and one for the mini marshmallows. We have a saucepan to melt the chocolate in and we have oven gloves and here I have some water, some cold water that I'm going to put in the saucepan. Most important thing is that we wear disposable gloves for making chocolate biscuit cake because we're touching biscuits and we're touching chocolates and marshmallows and crunchies and they are all ready to eat foods. So it's very important that we wear gloves so no germs gets on our food. So put on your disposable gloves and you know you may need to help your student or your child with this. Next we're going to weigh out 150 grams of biscuits. So here again you can look for the little um, the little tab. If not, take your knife and cut down through the paper. Now we're going to turn the scales to naught and we're going to weigh out 150 grams of biscuits. So we're just going to turn it on and make sure it's at naught starting. So we put in the biscuits to 150 grams. So 151, that's fine. So we take our biscuits and using our hands we just break them into small pieces. So now we have our biscuits all broken up into small pieces. So we have 150 grams of biscuits here. Next, we're going to weigh out our chocolate and we're weighing out 450 grams of chocolate. So we'll start our scales on naught. So I'm going to put in all of this chocolate to see what it comes to. So it comes to 406, so we're going to have 450, so I'm just going to break in some dark chocolate. So 452, that's okay. So what I do next is I pour some cold water into a saucepan. And I'm going to place my chocolate into a glass bowl and we put the bowl sitting over the pot of water and we're going to put 
the pot of water onto our cooker and we're going to melt the chocolate very, very slowly. So we'll be turning our cooker on to simmer. So we turn on our cooker at the wall. We place our saucepan on the back ring and remember to have the handle over the worktop. We're going to turn on our cooker, the back ring to low. So it's about a number one or two. So we're going to leave the chocolate here now and it will melt away slowly. And when it turns to liquid, it will be ready for the biscuits and the crunchy. Next, I'm going to weigh out our marshmallows and I'm going to weigh out 100 grams. So here again, we start at naught and 100 grams. Oh, that's nearly all my, oops. 100 grams. So we're going to put the marshmallows into a bowl. Next, we use two 40 gram crunchies. Now, crunchies are 40 grams, so we needn't weigh those. We're going to open them, and your students might need help with these. And we're going to cut them into chunks. So here again, very important, keep your fingers back and just press down. So here again, you might need help with this. And always chopping down onto the board. So we'll take our crunchies and we're going to put them into a bowl because we don't put those in until the end. So cut up the two crunchies into pieces like this. So now we have our crunchies cut up, we have our biscuits and we have our marshmallows. And the next thing we're going to take our square tin, it's about an eight inch, no probably nine inch tin, square tin, and we're going to line it with cling foam. So what we do is we pull quite a large piece of cling film, we press it down into the tin. Now you don't have to be too particular about this, just let it overlap the edges and have it falling out quite a bit. So we're going to cut, we're going to cut the cling film and then we're going to put a second layer on this part here and it's really, really important to have the tin well, well and truly lined with um, cling film. Now, some people might use grease proof paper, but I find the cling film works better because it fits exactly into the tin. So I'm overlapping it and I'm pressing it down and I'm just going to cut the edge. So we have our tin lined. and we'll just put the same film away. So when the chocolate is, um, we're going to wait until the chocolate is melted and we will take it over to the table. Now our chocolate has melted, it's gone to liquid. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off our cooker at the wall and we're going to turn it off here. Now, there are two ways you can take this chocolate to the table. You can use your oven gloves to lift the bowl out and when you're carrying it, you shout hot, hot and carry it to the table like this. The other alternative is you lift it out and you place it in another bowl, a big plastic bowl. So you're not holding the glass bowl, you're just holding the plastic bowl. So when you get to the table, you can get um, an adult to help you to lift it out. Or you also may get an adult to carry it to the table for you. So we leave this water here on the cooker until it gets cold and then we'll empty it. So I'm going to take my biscuits. I'm going to pour them into the chocolate. And I'm going to mix them very, very well. Next, I'm going to take my crunchies and I'm going to pour them in. And here again, we mix them very, very well. Now, I don't have my gloves on because I am not touching this anymore. Next, we're going to put our marshmallows in. So I'm just gonna put half at a time because these can melt 
and get very stringy. So just to give them a good mix. Whoops. So just to get them all covered with the chocolate and then you put in your second half and do the same. So there's lots of chocolate in this, so your student or your child should be able to do this uh, mixing. So we lift up our bowl and we're going to pour it into our tin. Now the bowl is hot, so you may need a little help. And we're going to scrape it out very well with the wooden spoon. So I am feeling the bowl and it is hot, so please be careful and have an adult to help you. So we're going to leave that on the side and we're going to press the biscuits down and the chocolate with the back of the wooden spoon. Now there's no need to touch anything here. And the cling film just lets the biscuits go well into the corner, so it works very, very well. So now when you have it all flattened, I'm sure it looks very delicious, but I just want you to remember chocolate biscuit cake is not healthy. It's got a lot of sugar and it's got a lot of fat, so we only eat a little. So I'm going to take this now, I'm going to let it cool a little bit on the table and in about 10 minutes I'm going to take it and put it in the fridge. So after about 10 minutes your uh, chocolate biscuit cake has cooled a little bit so now it's, it's okay to go into the fridge. So we're just going to put it in like this and I'm going to place it in the fridge until it gets cold which takes about maybe overnight or about five hours. So I'm going to put the chocolate biscuit cake near the top of the fridge and it's nice and cold there so we're going to push it in and we leave it to, we leave it to set. So I have left this for about five hours so it is set. So it lifts very very easily out of the tin with the cling film. So we're just going to take it out. I'm going to just take the cling film down. Just turn it upside down and we'll just pull the cling film away. Now we're going to cut, we're going to cut the, the um, biscuit cake. So we're putting our knife down and we put our hand on top and we're going to saw it. So keeping our hand on top allows us to have control over it. So we're going to cut them into small slices. So now you serve that one. So one slice is adequate. Okay, so you can cut the rest of them up like this. So this is your um, chocolate biscuit crunchy cake. Enjoy.